Welcome, welcome back. Uh, our next guest, who needs a newspaper? Uh, who needs stories about the Iran Contra hearings when you can read about stuff like this? Lightning turns a woman into a man. <laughs> well, our next guest is the guy who actually writes these headlines. Folks, from the sun, not the newspaper, the planet. That's right. <laughs> Please welcome Richard Dominic. Richard, uh... Hi, Richard. Nice to see you again. Hey, How are you? You know, I was, I was uh, making a joke about uh, the, the paper, the planet, not the paper. First of all, the sun's not a planet anyway, is it? No, it's not. It's a big star, isn't yes. that what they call it? Yeah. But where exactly do we publish the sun, and who gets to read this stuff? Uh, it's published out of Florida, uh -huh. and uh, it's sold throughout the nation. Uh -huh. and and what, what, is the, what is the circulation? Uh, about 600,000. Does, does a week. Does it seem to sell more here in the United States or more in Europe? Uh, no, I, I guess here. More here. More here. Uh -huh. do, do people have subscriptions to it? Can you get this mailed to your home? Uh, you can get it mailed to your home. Yeah. Uh -huh. and, and how is this regarded uh, with other tabloids? How do you compare this to, like, The Inquirer or uh, U.S. News and World Report? How would... <laughs> <laughs> where would it be in that spectrum? Uh, about the middle. All right. <laughs> you write the headlines. Yes. And you can swear to me, unequivocally, that everything in here is true. Absolutely true. <laughs> A hundred percent true. hundred percent. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. <laughs> All right. With that in mind, let's take a look at some of these. Okay. I guess these are recent stories that you have personally tracked down and written. That I investigated. If, if not, the, not the article, at least the headline, and you've done some investigation. Right. All right. What does this one say right here? Get a nice tight shot of this. This story here. Toaster is possessed by the devil. Satan burns every slice with a sign. Yes. Where did this happen? In Canada. Mm -hmm. What part of Canada? Uh, up by Michigan. Up by Michigan. <laughs> now, what happened do you, here? Do you have a name of a town, Richard? Yeah, it's one of the small villages out there. Small village. Yeah. All right. Where they have no names for towns. Yes. All right. You, how did you hear about this? Well, we have contacts in, uh, all over the country and all over the world, mm -hmm. and anything strange like this happens, we get a call, mm -hmm. and I went and investigated. Mm -hmm. And what did you find? A toaster possessed by the devil. <laughs> How do you know it's possessed by the devil? Well, when I went there, I first investigated, I checked to see if there was any hidden microphones or wires or anything right. like that, and there wasn't. Right. And uh, first they put in a piece of toast, and it came out with a sort of a pentagram, I think it's called. Yeah. And uh, then the uh, toaster spoke. And it... <laughs> uh, what, did, what did it say? Would you like butter or jelly? That kind of thing? No, it was... No, it spoke in... Uh, the devil spoke through the toaster. What did it say? I, it, it just basically told me to go to hell. <laughs> now, you, you don't for a second believe that. Well, there was no hidden microphone. No, like no, that. no, no, no. Nobody said anything. Yeah, the, 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 the uh, toaster did. The to <laughs> it, uh, we work with a priest. Uh, oh, well, of and, course you work with a priest. Huh? And... Uh, performed an exorcism on the toaster, uh -huh. and then it was fine. He specializes in possessed appliances. <laughs> it, it was probably just one of those defective GE models, you know? It was just, um, now, see, I know that that's not true. No, and, it is. And you must know that that's not true. But it is true. Well, then you're goofy. <laughs> Our next item. Here we go. Two-headed two man sings in stereo. <laughs> Dual domed wonder set to tackle show business world. Yeah, he'll be touring Europe. Uh, now this, tell me about this. You got a call 
Where, where, in, where in Europe did this, this happen in Poland? Warsaw, Poland, Poland, right? right. Okay. And uh, we got a call about a two-headed man mm -hmm. and um, that was singing and wanted to go on tour, and we investigated. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's going to go on tour. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, let me ask you about the... Uh, I guess this is uh, an untouched photograph here, right? <laughs> <laughs> no, what's going on here is he wants to sort of have a big uh, opening and he doesn't want anybody to see how he looks until he actually appears. Well, he, lo he looks great in a turtleneck, I gotta tell you. I don't know. Two head. Two headed man. Two -head. right, skip that one. That's even a little strange for us. Okay. All right, here we go. Now this one I might, I think I can believe this one. 800-pound honeymoon couple crashes through hotel floor. I can, I can actually believe that that yeah, might happen. happen. Where, where, did, where did it happen? That happened in Yugoslavia. <laughs> A lot of these things seem to happen out of town, don't they? they? Doesn't seem much to be going on in Queens with possessed toasters. Or, uh, okay, what do we have here? Circus midget flushed down toilet. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he was hiding in the toilet. He was going to surprise the bearded lady at the <laughs> carnival. Yeah. And she didn't know he was in there, and she flushed yeah. the toilet. I just love that circus humor. Those kids carry on like that. Uh... Oh, now, this, now this, some of this stuff is really pretty grisly, isn't it? Yes, it is. Uh, this is uh, not so much that way. All right. Tell me all about this one, Richard. This is a woman... I was Bigfoot's love slave. <laughs> yeah, this is a woman who was on vacation. She's from Germany. She was visiting Canada. Mm -hmm. Again, and... Germany, Canada. Right. 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 And Bigfoot came I and know. took her away. And they've been dating. Okay, great. <laughs> Uh, Richard, gee, it's nice to see you. Uh, have, a, have a good summer, and thanks okay. for your time. Richard Dominic from The Sun. I'll see you right back.